that during World War II, this was a community that came together. Of course, we had paper drives. I can remember being a child and we would collect the newspapers and take them to school and you'd weigh, they'd weigh them and that was turned in and you got stripes if you turned in so many pounds of paper. We'd take 10 cans and then as kids it was our job to step on them and flatten them because they would send the tin back in to be reused or possibly used for the war relief. And I can remember being in school when they started dropping the atomic bomb and things like that. We would have drills where we would have to duck and cover. We also had a lot of rationing. Everything from sugar, butter, cigarettes, everything was rationed. Uh, tires, rubber, but it was a time where everybody pulled together. I remember the people that lived across the street. He was drafted and he was in the service and his wife was trying to live on their allotment check. We kind of adopted the family. World War II is just a major thing, of course, and uh, there's a, a a, a classic photo of right next to where we're sitting in this building there was they put up a big board where they put the names of every boy from Berkeley who's off fighting in the war and there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of names there and every one 17, 18, 19 year old boy and this of course was happening all across the country and that was pretty much the way the whole community gathered together and it's a it's a feeling that you have in Berkeley even today. People support each other and if you've got a problem, your neighbors will be there to help you. Hi, I'm Patty McCarty. And I'm Dan McCarty. And we're the McCarty team with Keller Williams. We hope you enjoyed watching our mini-series about the Berkeley Museum. We've been listing and selling homes in the Berkeley area since the early 90s, and if you have not been in the Berkeley Museum, you have to stop by. It is a magical and very informative place. Thank you very much for looking in.